Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a location where you can make a lot of money pretty quick, um, between $50 and $60 without even really having to grind it out much. It's actually west of St. Denis. Um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, they don't feel comfortable doing glitches and stuff like that, and I completely understand that. So this should help you guys out. Like I said, you should make at least $50 to $60 without even really having to grind it out a lot. Of course, you can make more money if you hang out in the area more. So let me go pull up on the map, and I'll show you where we're heading to. As you can see, we're just going back to these little islands right west of St. Denis by the um, railroad tracks. And here, the method shooting and scaring the fish onto the shore still does work. The fish still react that way. Um, this is great because you can get a lot of rock bass. They're a dollar a piece. You get, grind those out. You know, you get um, $10 just for those. Um, also, to the water, of course, is really shallow here. So, again, the fish still do react being scared onto shore. What's good about here, you can scare smallmouth bass on the shore. They're $2 a piece, so they pay off really well. You don't even have to fish for them. Um, also, too, in this area, um, always be looking for shadows of flocks of birds flying overhead. Those are exotic birds. Um, there's pelicans, a spoonbill. Um, there's also a blue heron. Those carcasses and those birds and feathers and stuff do still go for a good amount of money. So always be watching out for those because you want to watch and make sure you shoot them while they're over land. Now, the area I want to add on to this, if you look at the mini map, you'll see right where I'm standing at. It's, it's literally steps from um, the railroad tracks. And here, as you can see, there's tons of smallmouth bass. Now, here they're easy to catch, just fishing the normal way. Now, when you fish, always make sure to take the rod and start to turn it to the side when they come in. Now, right here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how as I pull it to the side, and it's just basically just yanks him in. I mean, it's a matter of seconds, you have one of the fish. This area, you could continue to do that and just get tons of these fish. You can max out with 10 um, and make 20 bucks with that. Now, with this also, go north of this area. It's, it's literally steps from here as well uh, to this little island. Right here, you can see the sturgeons react really quick. Now, here is the basic fishing for sturgeons, but the water is really shallow here as you get them close to shore. So you'll have the first initial you know, struggle with him. But once you get him close to the shore, you'll pull him right in. This is a great way to get another $7.25 before you head out. I'll go ahead and put in the top right, though, the video when I first came to this area so you can see all the different farming techniques. I just didn't want to do the whole video like that just for people that might know, but mainly I was wanting to show this area where you could get the Lake Sturgeon and where you could get the $20 of smallmouth bass um, because it can really be added to the other things. And like I said, you could make between $50 and $60. It's about a minute, maybe a minute and a half to the butcher. So let's head over there and I'll show you real quick what we ended up with. So we got just 50 cents for the gaming bird meat. I only grabbed one bird just for time, just to kind of just show you real quick what you could get. Uh, we got $2 for the redfin pickerel. We got $3 for the bullhead catfish. $2 just for one large amount bass that showed up. $1.50 for the heron plume. $7.50 for bluegill. $20 for the smallmouth bass. $0.45 cents for flight feather. $8.75 for the egret plume that finally sell two dollars for the little egret plume and a dollar 63 for the perfect heron carcass and to end it out seven dollars and 25 cents for the lake sturgeon so for just 15 minutes of time i spent there i usually always try to do my methods close to butchers and spend 15 to 20 minutes there um like i said you know it was a short amount of time there's still ways to make money on red dead online it's just not what it was um, but they're still out there. We just have to find them. So if this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you would like it and share it with your friends. Also, too, if you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can get to some of these areas before they fill up to work out some of these methods. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.